Rising Stars of Twilight. Do you guys want to go around and, and say your names and who you play? I'm Eddie Gathegi, and I play Laurent. Laurent. I am Rochelle Lefebvre, and I play Victoria. And I am Taylor Lautner, and I play Jacob Black. Okay, so for those who don't know, like for the two people in America who don't know about Twilight, right? right? <laughs> Who, kind of, what are your characters, because you two are sort of together a lot in the movie, and you're a little bit separate, How, what's the relationship? Nothing between us. Yeah. No relationship between us two and him. Me and her, we've been traveling for quite some time as nomadic vampires. Um, we're sort of the evil vampires, but that's subjective. Sure. Um, my character actually warns the Cullens that, you know, the guy I'm traveling with it has ill intentions, so my character's actually got some sort of moral compass. He's not all evil. But he is a traditional vampire. He kills human beings to sustain himself, to, so I guess that makes him bad. He's not evolved like the Cullens, and, and he's not a vegetarian. Right, because that's one thing about the, <clears throat> the Cullens is they don't, they don't suck the human blood. They suck animal, animal blood. blood. Right, they're vegetarians. Right. So, and so you are one of the nomadic vampires as well, Rochelle? Yes. Okay, great. And then Taylor. Yes. Who are you? I am Jacob Black, friends with Bella. Uh, used to be friends when we were little, she moved away to Phoenix, now she's back to Forks, and she is all grown up, and I have a huge crush on her, and, uh, I could care less that she has her little Edward Poo, um, <laughs> and I'm actually the one who spills the beans to her about Edward Poo being a vampire. Okay, because you have secrets of your own as well, though. I do have secrets of my own, yes. Okay. Do you but... want to spill those, but not? maybe you have to go see the movie to know about that well all the fans should know but uh sure sure i'll, I'll let all you non-fans <laughs> go see the movie but you're really not going to find out anyways because i don't does it happen in this yeah movie. okay all right all the two fans that haven't read right. the book right okay <laughs> now did any of you read this book before you got into the movie or was was it something that you learned as soon as you got cast you started reading it I uh, had no idea what this was about. <clears throat> I, I knew the casting director, and I liked the casting director, so I wanted to audition for a movie she was casting, sure. which happened to be this one. Catherine was in the room. We got along so well, I thought, you know, I want to do whatever movie this is just to work with this woman. And it wasn't until they were seriously considering me to play Laurent that I picked up the books and read them, and then I was like, I get it. This is, like, fantastic series. <laughs> I, I want to be in this. Yeah. And then I got it. <laughs> <laughs> was there any, did you guys feel any pressure stepping into these roles that millions of people love so much and already have their vision of who they are? Rochelle, was there pressure for that? Um, I think there's a certain amount of pressure in the beginning, obviously, um, when you find out how passionate people are, you want to get it right. But I think there were two, two things that happened that kind of saved us from that. And I, I, I feel like I can kind of speak for these guys a little because I've heard them talk about this so much. <laughs> and I just um, want to let you know if you misquote. <laughs> yeah, you let me know. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, but uh, the two things that happened were, one, we all read the books and we became fans. And so it became as important to us to get it right. And so when that happened, we knew that we were doing everything that we could. Right. To and get it right, because we're doing is, that it. That is true. That's true. That is true. Okay. Good. Can so I she got it right. She got that right. Can, can I try number two? Number two, go. Okay, okay. risk. Here okay. we go. Number two was we had uh, Stephanie Meyer with us every step of the way. Yes. Um, she wasn't always on set necessarily, but she was. <clears throat> um, she was on set a few times. She even has a cameo in the film. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and she was aware of the casting process. She read drafts of the script. She was uh, a consultant basically um, with Summit to make sure that we brought the world that she had created to life. And when we knew that she was sort of guiding and inputting every step of the way, and that nothing happened without her blessing, we all I think just kind of breathed a, a sigh of relief because. Um, she was really the person who was going to look out for her fans the most. Sure. She knew what they wanted. Sure. And when she said that we were doing it right, then she was sort of their spokesperson, I like think. Like the big hand guiding you the whole way through. Exactly. exactly. Awesome. Is that okay? No, that's all true. <laughs> Amazing. That was really, really good.